everybody, this is Misha. I'm part of the Gradient team here at Paperspace. Paperspace is a GPU cloud infrastructure provider, and Gradient is a platform that enables you to train, deploy machine learning models, and really operationalize your machine learning systems. Today, we're going to just try and show you something super cool. So we're going to go in and kind of browse papers with code a little bit, see what is trending over here, and then go in and get it running on the platform and show you how easy it is for you to do the same. So here we kind of have a first order motion model, which goes in and takes a static image and a video, and then it does a basically character animation of the still based on the video. So it's kind of a different form for creating new content. And we're going to go in and dive into running. So here I'm kind of in the paper space console. I'm going to dive into the notebook service first. So notebooks are a machine learning workspace that's containerized, dedicated hardware. And Gradient really allows you to take advantage of very powerful hardware on an on-demand basis. So you can kind of spin up a new notebook with a full dedicated GPU that allows you to go in and run some of these really powerful um, machine learning models here in a very reproducible way. So this is running on a P4000 GPU. I've already kind of set up a notebook for this. So let's go in and uh, dive into that. So this notebook is over here. And so the first thing that we see is we're in a full Jupyter Lab environment. We can kind of have multiple tabs, storage. So that's one of the big differentiators between uh, paper space and some of these other notebook providers is you have your full IDE-like environment. And so we've already cloned this uh, repository down. That's what we're looking at over here. And there's a kind of drive link that the researcher used to publish his paper. And so we're able to, and so we went in and got this running um, and loaded inside kind of this distributed storage that you have available on paper space that can scale up to terabytes and allow you to train models of any size. Uh, so we're going to go in and step through all of this and kind of take a look at what um, this really cool new model allows you to do. So first we're gonna go in and um, run this cell. So here we kind of have our imports, matplotlib, image.io, um, SK image, and then some custom uh, libraries inside here that we built. And then we have the source image and the driving video. So here we're using 05.png and we're gonna be animating it with 08. So let's go in and take a look at what that is. So here we're gonna be taking a photo of the, of Mon of the Mona Lisa. And we are going to be um, animating it with the video that we see down here. So we're going to try and drive the Mona Lisa to be having the same character expressions as this uh, famous person. One thing to note that we also were able to go in and download FFmpeg using the terminal and went in and set that in. So we'd be able to do audio and video and sound conversion. So here we kind of are just straight up driving an HTML5 video inside of our notebook environment um, based on the requirements TXT, which came in here. So we just loaded this in, did a pip install, and then we're good to go. So now we're going to go in and kind of take the model, create a model from the uh, checkpoints that were provided. So this is going to be using a Vox Celeb configuration, and which is located down here. And here we're creating a generator and a key point detector. So the generator is the thing which creates the new um, media content. And the detector is identifies the relative key points along the face or alongside both the source and the uh, driving image. And so then what we're going to do is we're going to, from demo, pull in this make animation. So this is the um, Python file, which has the uh, business logic around how we go in and we drive the actual transformation. So we're using PyTorch. We're kind of going in from our source, running it through, getting the different key points. And then for each of the specific frames, we're, again, of the uh, driving video, we're grabbing the key points. We're normalizing them across both targets. And then we're going and running it through the generator. And then we're doing that for each individual frame. And then we're appending it all together. So let's go back into here and execute this. So we're basically making an animation on these two inputs, and then we're saving it as an MP4 that we can go and take anywhere else. Or 
um, just display it directly inside of the browser. So I haven't actually kind of ran this combination, but let's see how it looks. Honestly, not terrible. So this is kind of the Mona Lisa, but she's actually moving in real life, which is pretty sweet. One thing to note that we're using this relative equals true parameter, which means that we're only using kind of the relative key points as to the absolute ones. Another way that we could go in and execute this is to actually kind of use the, um, so kind of more features will transfer over. So kind of some of the elements of the driving video will translate over to the Mona Lisa. So here, maybe we'll give her a little bit of a, a hair adjustment and kind of change the facial structure a little bit more. So this is kind of a little bit less discrete of a mapping, but there is kind of, it's always a trade-off with these things where the um, kind of mouth and the way that the eyes are moving, I think is a little bit um, clearer. So kind of carried over a little bit more. So you can kind of adjust and dive in depending on the type of content that you're um, creating. So one other cool part that you can do is you can very easily run this on your own content. So here, if we take a um, MKV file, grab and filter and crop it out. And then this is a video of um, Jeff Hinton, who is a famous deep learning researcher from the University of Toronto. And so we're going in basically um, using FFmpeg, which is a super great tool. You should um, be familiar with that if you're not already. And so it requires kind of, um, so th these models are trained on p bounding boxes of the face itself. So if the face, if there's multiple people, it won't work as well, or you also need to go in and kind of, you can use the automatic face alignment tool to make sure that you're feeding in the um, relevant images in the normalized fashion um, for any custom data sets that you use. Sweet, so this went in and uh, finished up. And so we can go in and run the new animation here. So here we're doing it, the source image here is gonna be uh, doll06.png, which is a um, slightly non-human looking thing, or human, but a little eccentric out there. So kind of with the hat, so there's, it's a slightly different um, rendering, but we're gonna go in and see if we can have a video of Jeff Hinton talking driving this doll inside on using kind of a powerful GPU in a matter of minutes. Sweet, so here we kind of have the um, mapping. Maybe it's another situation where we kind of don't wanna use the, the relative key points. Um, but one other thing that I wanted to briefly show in here is that we can kind of convert this back into this new image that we created into a PNG file. And then we can map the audio stream as well. So kind of the final product that we'll have here is a audio stream of Hinton talking as a um, kind of a artificial person with the same sound, but also kind of the way the mouth aligns uh, very well. So if we go in and kind of take a look at this created um, final MP4, we can play it inside the Jupyter notebook, or we can go in and just kind of download it and email it to our friend or post it on Instagram or something like that. So let's go in and see what we created. It's sort of become the method of choice for recognizing speech. Um, it's now becoming the method of choice. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us here today. As we kind of go in, we'll get more machine learning models up and running on paper space and show you how easy it is to do that. For more content, please follow us or sign up and kind of use paper space or reach out. Also, there's a lot of resources available online at resources.paperspace.com. I'm Mishka, and this is Gradient by Paperspace. Thank you very much.